everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. I wasn't actually planning to film today but then I started this eye look and I really liked it so I thought I'd show you guys how I did it. It's a pretty simple look. Pastels are very in right now for the spring summertime. I really love the pastel trend and I definitely wanted to hop on it. And purple is one of my favourite colours. I know one of you guys wanted a pastel look so Olivia I hope you like it. <laughs> I do take on all of your suggestions so please if you ever want to request anything please just put it in the comments down below. I like talking to you guys in the comments. Getting to know you a little bit more because at the moment I'm just sitting here talking to a camera but I want to get to know you so leave a little bit about you down below or request something then we can chat in the comments. If you're new don't hesitate to subscribe all you need to do is hit the red button down below and the bell button and that'll just notify you when I upload next which is three times a week at the moment I'm churning out the content for you guys. I hope you're staying sane and safe and without further ado, let's get right on in to this eye look. Okay, so this is the look that we're doing today. It's pretty simple. I was inspired by someone on Instagram. This isn't like a replicated look or anything, but I was just inspired by. And it's someone called Nushmu. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but that's the way it looks. <laughs> this is pretty simple. It didn't take me too long. Obviously, I haven't finished it up. I haven't put lashes or done the hand dry or anything like that. But let me show you how I did this so far. First of all, I'm going in with the P. Louise base in Rumor 01 and I'm patting this all over the lid with the Morphe M224 brush. I'm making sure to blend the edges really well. I just pat with my finger to make it blend into my skin. Then I'm taking the P. Louise base in the shade Rumor 0, so the white. Then I'm taking the P. Louise X Mitchell acid rain paint in the shade Ibiza and I'm just mixing them together on the back of my hand to make this sort of lavender colour. I'm not sure what brush this is, it's a spectrum brush. I'll pop it on the screen here because I can't remember what it is. <laughs> I'm gonna start out by carving the crease and I'm going slightly higher than my actual crease itself because when I open my eye I still want it to be a clear line there. I start off in the middle so it's easier to taper off the edges and I don't have a harsh edge to then blend out. Okay, now I have this shape going. It kind of looks like a boomerang shape. <laughs> now I'm going to focus on the lid colour. just tapped out the creases on my lid so there's no interference and I'm doing exactly the same but I'm just going to create a big wing and then colour it all in and blend it in about a third way across the lid. And because this is a cream product it's really easy to blend. I just use my fingertips and it just blends it really seamlessly. Okay, now for the inner corner, I'm pretty much doing the same. I'm creating a point right at the inner corner and extending it slightly so it'll make my eye look a little bit bigger. And then I'm bringing it in about a third way across the lid and blending it out once again. All right, so now it's time to set all the base and everything. I'm going in with the Everything You Need Bright Palette by Beauty Bay. It's the nine color matte palette. And I'm going in with the white called Coconut Crush and mixing it in with the purple called Purple Rain. I just dip back and forth and make sure I finish off with the white color. And then I just pat it over the base and that sets it all in place. I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> and I'm using a Morphe M500 to do this. When I'm setting the top line, I'm actually using little smudging motions just to blend out the harshness at the top, but I'm not blending the line below, so I still have that kind of cut crease look. Just to set the center part of the lid, I just quickly tapped out any creasing, and then I went straight in with the white shade from the palette and just lightly dusted it over the top to set it. For the little bit of sparkle that I've got in the center of the lid, I'm taking the Fenty Beauty Diamond Bomb in How Many Carrots, and I'm just pressing that on the lid with my finger, and then just using any excess to fade it from side to side. I've also taken it right up to the cut crease line that we created. I'm now just going to tight line. I'm using the Revolution Supreme Pigment Gel Eyeliner in brown and then I'm going to do a very thin line of eyeliner. I'm using the Max Factor Masterpiece High Precision Liquid Eyeliner in Velvet Black and I'm also going to extend my inner corner with a little triangle. For the extension of the inner corner, I'm following that line that I've originally created with the base and then I'm just bringing it back on itself to line up with the lower waterline. Once I've done my base and everything like that, we'll finish up that, but just for now I have a little guide. I'm now just going to add some mascara. I'm using this by Givenchy. It's the Volume Disturbia Mascara in black. Considering this is probably going to be a little bit of a short video, I might as well do my brows. I tried out an old product and a new product today. I used this ages ago, but I wanted to pick it up again. It's the Paradise Pomade Ecstatic by L'Oreal and this is in the shade Brunette. It basically looks like a little gel pot liner, but it's by your brows. And I'm just going to shape the outer tail first of all. Damn, those brows are really long. <laughs> I remember to groom them underneath but I never remembered to cut them. <laughs> but I'm just using the little brush that it came with. It's a very tiny angled brush. I'm just going to carve out the tail 
of my brow to make it sharper on the end and then feather in some of the product. I like to make sure I brush all the hairs down first of all so I can see where I'm making the line. And then I'm gonna do the same underneath. I literally use the bare minimum product on this. And then I'm just gonna use excess product and add little hair-like strokes throughout the end of the brow. Okay, so I think I'm like in that for the end but it's a little harsh for the front of the brow so I'm going in with my brow pencil by Makeup Obsession brow goals pencil and this is in the shade ash brown and I'm just gonna kind of lightly feather in the color and then when I'm at the front I'm gonna do some brush strokes up to get that feathery look in the beginning of the brow and then the new thing that I tried which I've always wanted to try is the 24 hour brow setter by Benefit I picked up their Christmas kit where it had like pretty much all of their products in it was on sale so I picked it up recently. I do still think it is on sale. So if you like your Benefit brow products or if you want to try them, maybe now is a good time to pick up the kit because even though it's a Christmas gift, it doesn't matter, okay? Just gift it to yourself. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just gonna feather this through the brow to set the hairs in place. For me, I've always wanted to try Benefit's brow products because they got so much height. So I thought I'd take the plunge and buy the kit to try out some more of their brow products. And this feels really good, just an FYI, like my brows are stuck in place. <laughs> I mean I don't need them there for 24 hours but I appreciate it if it stays there a long time. Obviously I haven't got my fully formed thoughts about it, I've literally just tried it today. But so far so good. <laughs> okay so now I'm gonna go ahead to do my base off camera. Alright so my base is all done and now I'm just gonna finish up these under eyes. I'm keeping it pretty simple. I'm just gonna tight line with a nude pencil. This is by MAC and it's actually the Skin Tone NC15. I'm also taking the nude pencil and just going inside the extended inner corner that I've created to make a blank space just to make my eye look a little bit bigger. I'm taking the purple concoction we made, dusting that all the way across the lash line, all the way into our extended inner corner. I'm just gonna go over the extended inner corner one more time to make sure that it isn't lost with the product we've added over top. Then I'm gonna add some lower lash mascara and some lashes. These are Imogen by Prima Lashes. And then that is the look, we are done. So here is the finished look. Looking very pasty. I hate my skin. I tried the NYX Born to Glow again today. It just does not work with my skin at all. It just makes me look cakey and gross. It's not for me, but I thought I'd try it again, but no. It just does not work with my skin at all. But anyway, enough about the bad foundation. I hope you guys like the eye look. I know it's a very simple one, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway. That is it for this video. I'm gonna love you and leave you. If you're new, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. I'd love to have you. And I hope to see you on the next one. Till then. Bye guys.